I'm going to give you a quick tour on how to modify AutoCAD 2010 interface. Let's open AutoCAD 2010 and it's very important for you to learn how to modify the way AutoCAD looks on your uh, screen. Here on this screen dialog box when you first start your AutoCAD click on OK and select maybe later wait for the program to um, open and this is how it's gonna look like when you open your program the first time but I will show you real quick how to modify the way it looks first of all I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you that you need to go up to this pull down menu and click on show menu bar once you click on show menu bar select tools and go all the way to the bottom on options on this dialog window get familiar with it because you're gonna be able to um, see the files tab the display open and save plot and publish system user preferences drafting and selection let's begin by selecting display when you select display uh, here on this tab you're gonna be able to change the way the screen looks on your program so let's go ahead and uh, begin with uh, the window elements let's click on dark that's okay and as you can see there is no uh, scroll bars on the bottom or on the side let's click on the display the scroll bars in drawing window display the drawing status bar that's very important too I will show you what uh, you can do with the status bar and let's leave it with the small icons right now show tool tips um, I'll keep it like this right now but let's continue let's go into colors when you come here on this window here is where you are gonna be able to change the background of the window of the, your screen and most people like dark which is black let's click on black and let's go into crosshair I like the crosshair to be magenta but you can choose it any color you want now let's go into um, apply and close and now you can see that your screen is black I guess it's actually better to have it black because you can see better when you're drawing okay let's go back to uh, tools options and once we get back to tools options let's get into drafting on drafting you can change the colors of the marker the magnet and the display auto snap tooltip if you choose on colors you can change the colors of it like right now the uh, magnet is brown and the color is shown here the crosshair is magenta and here is where you can change the colors of the magnets apply and close let's go back to this window now let's go into selection tab on selection tab you can change the size of the pick box size you can change the size of the grip I usually like it about this this big and now let's get into visual effects settings when you get into visual effects settings it's this is a really good tool because it's going to show you when you are dragging to the left and when you're dragging to the right it changes the color window selection color it's blue when you drag it to the right and window selection color crossing selection color which is to the left it's green let's click on OK on this one and on display I like to change my my crosshair size to about almost mid-size 46 percent 
let's click on OK and we have the crosshair big enough so you can see it. Most people like it to cover the whole screen. We, we can do that. Let's go into Tools, Options and let's click on 100%. Click OK and now you can see the crosshair covering the entire window. I usually don't like it like this but it's up to you. Let's go into Tools back, Options and let's put my crosshair back into about 46%. I like it about 46% because it bothers me when it covers the whole screen. Let's click on OK. Now the next step is I'm going to show you how to change the color on the command line. As you can see if you leave it white sometimes it gets your side tired. You, you get tired. But when um, you have it on a different color it's better to see it. Let's go into Tools again, Tools menu, Options, and now we're going to go into Display. Click on Display Toolbar and Colors. Here on Colors, you're going to go into Background, Cross Chairs, Auto Track, Auto Snap Marker, Drafting Tooltip. Drafting tooltip, background, light web. Here on the command line, right here, click on the command line and make sure you are selecting the background. As soon as you click on the command line, the background is selected. I personally like this color because it makes your command line more noticeable. As you can see, now it looks better. Let's click on OK. And a good feature about AutoCAD 2010 is that you can change the way your tools are going to be displayed on your screen. You can make it AutoCAD LT Classic, which will make it just the way you were used to work with and the toolbars are still floating toolbars and this is where you can change the way your interface is looking the way your toolbars are going to be showing on your screen let's click back on uh, this status bar and left click on your button on the mouse and let's put it back on initial setup workspace and you'll notice that it'll change back to the way it comes from the factory. Now that we have the tools and I show you, let me show you real quick. Click on this pull down menu again and select show menu bar. The menu bar is right here just like the classic click again and the match properties you'll notice that it looks a little different from the previous versions and I also like to activate the uh, properties and let's quickly activate the plot preview now that we have our interface set up we are ready for the next chapter. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.